According to the American Heart Association, knowledge about your heart rate can help you monitor your cardio fitness level, and it might help you spot developing health problems. Your heart rate, or pulse, is the number of times your heart beats per minute. A normal heart rate varies from person to person. Knowing yours can be an important heart health indicator. As we age, our heart health and its regularity is likely to change, and it may signify a heart condition that needs to be addressed. Your resting heart rate is when the heart pumps the least amount of blood necessary to sustain bodily function when we are not exercising. If we are sitting or lying and we are calm, relaxed and are not ill, our heart rate is normally between 60 beats per minute and 100 beats per minute. A heart rate that is slower than 60 beats per minute may be considered bradycardia, a slow heart rate. And a rate that is faster than 100 beats per minute may be considered tachycardia, heart rate. A heart rate lower than 60 doesn't necessarily indicate a medical problem. It could be the result of taking certain heart medications. A lower heart rate is also common for people who exercise a lot, as their heart muscle is stronger and doesn't need to work as hard to maintain a steady beat. On the reverse side, a fast heart rate in healthy people can be because they are exercising, nervous, excited, or using a stimulant. The health conditions that are associated with a fast heart rate include most infections or just about any cause of fever, heart problems, certain medications, low levels of potassium in the blood, an overreactive thyroid gland, or too much thyroid medication, anemia, or asthma. By monitoring your heart rate, you can help track trends and patterns that are personal to you. We all have different resting heart rates. The absolute number doesn't matter much unless it is over 100 beats per minute. What really matters and is of major interest to your doctor is a deviation from your usual resting heart rate which may signal an illness. Therefore, it may make sense to check your resting heart rate regularly. One can lower their resting heart rate by engaging in aerobic exercises. The World Health Organization recommends at least 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity throughout the week. If you find it difficult to carry on a conversation while exercising, you're probably working out at a vigorous or strenuous pace. Scientists believe that vigorous aerobic activity performed several times per week may be key to avoiding an early death. A 2015 study, which followed 200,000 people for more than six years, reported a 9-13% to decrease in mortality for those who increase the intensity of their exercise sessions. You can use different types of heart rate monitors to check your heart rate. The most reliable monitors use a wireless sensor on a strap that you wrap around your chest. Others, like Apple Watch, have sensors on the back of the wrist watch. Various smartphone apps, Breathe Now included, are available to check your heart rate. For most of them, you place your finger on the phone's camera lens, which then detects color changes in your finger each time your heart beats. These apps are less accurate than chest straps or wrist-based sensors, but they give a rough idea of your heart rate changes. Taking regular heart rate readings can help to identify irregular heart rhythm. One of the widely spread conditions is called atrial fibrillation. This occurs when the upper chambers of the heart beat out of sync with the lower chambers. Atrial fibrillation can cause blood to clot in the heart. Therefore, your doctor should be made aware as soon as possible if you develop this condition. A 2019 study published in the Journal of American Heart Association showed that cardiovascular deaths related to atrial fibrillation are increasing. Dr. Yoshihiro Tanaka, a cardiologist and researcher at Northwestern University in Chicago, one of the authors of the study, says these findings are troubling, especially the rising atrial fibrillation related deaths for adults aged 35 to 64. The condition is increasingly common, with an estimated 12.1 million people in the US expected to have it in 2030. An Apple Watch can identify if your heart is beating within a regular rhythm. To summarize, 
Knowing your heart rate and tracking its changes regularly may help you identify a heart condition which you need to share with your medical provider. Regular moderate, for example walking, or vigorous, such as jogging, aerobic exercises, are beneficial for your heart health. Breathe Now helps you to measure your heart rate with the phone's camera. It includes including convenient reminders, graph pulse changes and linking them to activities, for example, the number of steps made, notifying you if your Apple Watch detects an, an irregular heart rhythm, sharing your heart data with your doctor remotely, and save your data securely in your Apple Health account.